This faceless YouTube channel is making up to $41,000 a month just by creating and uploading YouTube shorts. And the best part is, it's all done by AI. The titles, the descriptions, the hashtags, and the content were all generated using AI. Here's one of their latest videos. Now, as you can see, it's just relatable and shareable content. And I'm going to show you how to create over a thousand of these absolutely free in no time at all. We're going to use two AI tools to make this happen and automate everything we're doing. The first tool we're using is ChatGPT. I put a link in the description for you and I'll see you in a second. Now to access ChatGPT, you're going to sign up for an account. And when you log in, you're going to see a screen that looks just like this. The only difference is you might not see the plus icon because we do have a paid ChatGPT account, uh, but you will have access to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the exact prompt that I'm going to show you in a second right below this video, along with the secondary prompt, and it's already engineered to give you exactly what we're after here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that prompt in. And let me walk you through what we have here. So basically we are going to ask it to create 50 sets of facts and sets being the topic the part one and the part two, just like you saw in the example video. Uh, I'm giving it a bunch of examples below this, and I'm also asking it to format it in a way that we can copy and paste this into our next tool. So it becomes really, really easy. Uh, and so it's gonna give you a table with that breakdown step by step. And I also asked it to uh, adjust with a couple different fact uh, types. So psychology, crush, relationship, uh, boy, girl, so on. And so that way we're going to get a really nice variety. And I also made it uh, very specifically focus on stuff that's very relatable. So that way it's highly shareable, highly engagement driven. Um, this is going to be exactly what we're after and what you typically see on YouTube that you would otherwise interact with. So we have our prompt that's been engineered quite a few times. We played around with this quite a lot. And then all of our examples, just so it has a sense of what we're after with a bunch of different variations. And so all we're going to do is copy and paste it in, hit send message, and we're going to let it generate. You just want to do a quick check. Is this what you're after? In this case this is exactly what we're after. We have our column one of different types of facts, our column two of the starting point and our column three of the end, uh, kind of the, the punchline, uh, as it were. So this is going to generate us 50 facts to start. You can adjust this number. I wouldn't go beyond 50. Somewhere between 30 and 50 is the sweet spot to get the best quality out of ChatGPT. If you ask for 100 facts or 200 facts, it may or may not give it to you to begin with, but it may also just give you a lot of garbage because it's trying to fit a lot into one short prompt. Whereas when you ask for a smaller amount, it does focus more on quality within that. So here's the first 50. Uh, if we wanted to get to a thousand, we're just going to copy and paste the second prompt in, which is this one right here. It just says, come up with 50 more using the same specifications. Do not repeat the previous ones. That way we get all unique. I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me generate a thousand videos worth of prompts. So we're going to start with just these 50 and then we'll move on. Uh, and you can, of course, just follow along if you wanted to generate a thousand or two thousand. Uh, or even five or 6,000. We generated over a thousand when we tested this out without any issue following the exact same flow. So I know it can happen. So that said, what we're going to want to do now is copy everything we have here. So let's copy this entire table and let's copy that. And we're going to move on to our next tool, which we're going to use to do some automated editing. So we can put this all together and do tons and tons of videos at once. And you're going to see here, I'm going to be able to generate 50 videos uh, with just a little bit of tweaking and adjusting. All right. So now we're at canva.com. You can either just click the link in the description to go ahead and end up here or go to canva.com in your browser. And you want to go ahead and sign up for an account, a free account. And then when you've signed up or you've logged in, you will see this screen. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to click the search bar in the middle here and type in YouTube shorts. And we're going to select the YouTube shorts template here. And then we are going to go ahead and select create blank template. And this is going to go ahead and give us a brand new template ready to use. Uh, and we're going to be doing a handful of things to get this template ready to then start the automated video creation side. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to add a background video. We are going to add some text placeholders for our topic, our part one text and our part two text. And then we are going to import all of our data. So first step, let's add a video background here. So we're going to click on apps in the bottom left here. And then we are going to scroll down a little bit until you see videos here. You can also go ahead and search this in the search bar here. But when you find it, let's click videos. And here in the search bar, we are going to go ahead and type something like beach or sunset or any of those types of things. We want something that has kind of an ambient nature, just like what you saw in the example. So let's do sunset. And we just want to choose any of these videos here. Um, as you can see, there's ones that have this little crown on them. Um, when we go to the actual bulk creation, you will need to set up a free trial and you can actually go ahead and set up the free trial and then immediately cancel and you'll still be able to use it. So that is what I would recommend. Um, but that's why I see a bunch of these with these little crowns. If you don't have your free trial activated yet, you may not see any of those. You'll just see ones like this that don't have anything beside it. That means they're free to use. And this actually is the one that I would probably recommend. Uh, maybe this one but I think this one is actually exactly what we're after in terms of an ambient background that's not gonna interfere with the text or attract too much attention. So what we're gonna do is when you find the video you like, we're going to click on it and we're gonna drag it to the edge of your little editor window here. This is going to make it look just like what you're seeing now where it's attempting to put it as the entire background of your editing window, which is exactly what we want. So if I let go of my mouse cursor here, uh, you can see it's applied as a background video. And so now we just need to clean this up so it's ready to start putting text on it. And to do that, we are going to make this much shorter because one minute is way too long. We only really need a five to six second total video. Uh, and we're also going to make sure that any additional background noise or background music that's already applied to this video uh, is not carried forward. So to shorten it up, we'll click the little cut icon here and we're going to drag this all the way down to six seconds. I think that's more than enough of a length here. If you don't quite get it, that's fine. You can also just type in six seconds here. So I'm just going to get rid of that and we'll hit done. And now we have a six second video down from a 60 second video. The last thing we're going to do is get rid of any audio or noise in the background. So go ahead and click on the video, click the volume icon, drag this all the way down and you're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and add our text before we go ahead and connect it up to our data to fully automate the creation part. So let's go to text. We're just going to drag in any of these text styles because we're going to add some adjusting to it. So this is our first piece of text, which is going to be the topic. So I'm just going to replace this text with the word topic. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag it up to the top here. This is about where I want it. And now I'm going to go ahead and style it. So to adjust that, I'm going to double click. So I highlight everything. I'm going to click color at the top here, change it to white. And I'm also going to add a background like you saw in the example. So we'll click effects. We'll go to background and by default, it usually is black, but if not click the color, select black and we'll click out of that. And you can see we have our topic text basically ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also change the font though, because I think this one doesn't look as good as it could. Uh, I'm going to try this one. That looks not too bad. I like that. So I'm going to use that font, but really you can choose any font you want. There are tons and tons and tons to choose from. Um, and if you're using the free trial, you can go ahead and upload your own fonts or search and it does use the Google font library. So there are tons to choose from. Um, so choose whatever you like, whatever you want for your style. And then what we're going to do is we are going to click on this and duplicate. We're going to drag this down and this is going to act as our part one text. 
So I'll double click in and I'm gonna replace the text here with just part one, just so we identify what's what. And I am also gonna get rid of the background. So if I click on this element here, the text, I'll click effect. I'm gonna get rid of the background. So I'll just click none for style, but I am gonna add an outline because as you can see here, it's already hard to read with just the background that's going on. So I'll click outline. I'm gonna use color black and I'm gonna increase the thickness here to about 80, maybe a little bit more, maybe 85. Leave it as 86, I can get 85. And as you can see, much easier to read already. So that's what we want for the text there. Now there is a part two, and what we're actually gonna do is click on part one, the text here, and click duplicate. And we're just gonna drag it down. We do want it to eventually show in the same place where part one is going to be, but if you go ahead and just leave it there, it's gonna be really hard to connect the data so that way we can have this automate and you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, but there's one last thing that we wanna do for both of these sets of text because they might be very long, whereas the topic is typically short, it's two words. The text in part one and part two can get long, depends on what ChatGPT gave us. So what we're going to do is the edge of each of these purple boxes for part, uh, part one text and part two text actually change that to part two so that way we know what it is we're going to click and drag from these edges and have them line up to this other purple outline that gives us kind of a box around the entire video and that way when text is put in it's going to go up to these lines but not beyond it and it's going to start going into line two line three line four and so on and that way we don't have text that just spills over the edge of the video and becomes unreadable. Ooh. Get that to the edge and get this one to the edge. There we go. So now our template is almost ready to connect our data. One last thing, we don't want both of these sets of text to show at the same time, right? It's part one, whatever the, the hook is, part two, whatever the punchline is, so we want to adjust the timing of when these show so they don't overlap. So to do that, we are gonna right click on part one and we are gonna click show timing. This is gonna give us a little timeline view at the bottom here where we can click on the edge and drag this around to decide where to show the first part of text and when to show the second part of text. And for a six second video, I normally like to have most of the video showing the first part and then a shorter amount of the video showing the second part. So that way, in the case it's a long explanation, they potentially have to watch the video twice in order to get the full, uh, the full fact. Um, that way it just allows you to get a higher overall retention, higher overall watch rate, and as a result, your videos can reach more people. So for part one, we'll leave it at three and a half seconds. You can change this to four or five seconds. It's up to you. Uh, but I think three and a half is good. And we're going to do the same for part two. So if I click on part two, you can see we still get the timing here. I'm going to change this to show up at three and a half seconds in. Uh, so when we have actually it'll be two and a half seconds left. Is that right? Yep. So there we go. So part one is going to show and it's gonna cut here and then part two will show. And if we just hit play, you'll see that, uh, or you should see that. Let's click show timing again. Yep, that is applied. Uh, not sure why they're not actually showing differently there, but it's all right. Uh, it'll show when we actually go ahead and apply text to it, I believe. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and start connecting all of our text. Now to do that, we are gonna use a tool in Canva called Bulk Create. So to access that, we click Apps in the bottom left, and you can see it here, right where you found videos, Bulk Create. If you can't find it, use the search bar. And when you go ahead and click on it, it's gonna ask you to enter in all of your data. Now, that's why we asked ChatGPT to give us text in a table format, so that way we can copy and paste this in, and it knows this is one set of text to connect to, second set of text to connect to, third set of text to connect to. So let's go ahead and copy this. 
and we will go into ChatGPT here and click enter data manually. And then what we're gonna do is click the first column here in the top left, and we are just going to paste in all of our text. And there we go, it's already formatted. It knows that these are topics, these are part ones, these are part twos. Let's click done. And now it's gonna ask you to connect this up to particular elements on your editor so it knows where to display that information. So topic, let's right click on topic here connect data topic. You can see it got squiggly lines around it. That means it's been connected up. Let's do the same for part one and the same for part two. And now that this is connected, which is where these squiggly lines come in, I'm going to drag part two back over top of part one because that's where we want both sets of text to show. We just want them to show one for three and a half seconds, and then the other for the last two and a half seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then when we hit generate here, it's gonna generate all 49 videos. I'm not actually sure why it's 49 versus we asked it for 50, um, but we ended up with 49 nonetheless. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click generate and it's gonna create each of these videos. So we'll go ahead and hit that now. And here are our 49 videos. If I hit play, you can see it shows the first part, then the second part, next one, first part, and then the second part. And that goes for all of these. And so now if I'm ready to export these and want to go ahead and upload them to YouTube, I just hit save or sorry, share and I click download and you want to make sure you select this download page.